Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Xeno Weeklies. This is Xeno 309. I am Force Armor. I am the only caster here in the booth right now as we have our other caster, Swiss Rider, getting started in Pool A. But in the meantime, we've got our one match coming up here with Helper versus Aster here. So starting off, Helper, of course, rocking that Sora as he is known to do versus Aster's ZSS. So let's see right now, Aster in the corner, trying to find some sort of zone breaking here with these Zares. Does actually manage to find their way into center stage. Great drop down up air to get things started, but unfortunately not quite able to capitalize. That, what an air dodge by Helper, avoiding that uh, up smash after the berry. Great stuff. Holding onto that second stock, but a nice confirm by Aster, putting him back in the driver's seat. And maybe side beam not going to be taking it just yet. Sora, you know, he's, he's stuffing something in those giant shoes. Some iron in there. No tech from Helper. He is going to be living that. He is Sora, but Aster with a very healthy percent lead. And yeah, you're not living another side beam like that, even off the corner. Aster now in pretty, pretty comfortable control of this game one. Only 87% and has really been controlling this airspace that Helper really wants to be in. You know, Sora gets so much off of aerials, gets so much off of controlling the space with these really, you know, long-lasting sweeping hitboxes of the Keyblade and those spells. But Aster's just a little bit too fast to, to pin down right now. Not getting caught by the Thundaga at ledge. Helper did have to commit to the Sonic Blade there, but Aster giving up just a little bit too much space, wasted a little too much time. And that is going to be Helper now finally on the board. All right, see, great anti-air dash attack. The Aster kind of uh, uncomfortable here on these platforms. Helper maybe trying to take a bit more of a grounded approach. We all know, you know, Zia says they, they love to jump. Barely getting caught by that up B. Helper still in, kind of on the back foot. Reads the tech in place and Aster taking a clean second stock. Only 20%, not even. Yep, not getting caught by Thunder. And one up smash into up air is enough to lap the percent for Aster. Ooh, I don't know about that down air. If you're looking for something a little sneaky, trying to sneak his way into center stage past the platform, miss the spacing. All right, Blizzaga not finding too much out of it. Aster mixing up that mash timing, not getting caught by any substantial hit, just taking the damage. Fire. Looking for a Faraga dash attack, confirm. But Helper, you gotta confirm those first, just like that, but some great DI by Aster keeping him alive. Okay, Battlefield, you've got a lot of platform space to run around and make that Sonic Blade ambiguous. Finally catching the Thundaga. We've seen Aster uh, tether his way through those time and time again, but finally Helper bring things back to even. I don't know about that counter, but did keep himself safe. All right, great air dodge there from Aster, but Helper now looking like he is in the driver's seat with another anti-air dash attack. Another anti-approach with that Blizzaga. Deep and Aster here, uncomfortable at the ledge, finding that Faragi he was looking for before, and Helper wanted the counter there, but unfortunately just a little bit too, too late. All right, Helper now at the ledge. Aster's throwing out, a, throwing out a lot of buttons. Helper's gotta be super careful. All right, no. CSS doesn't get too much out of grab right now. Woo! Aster looking for these confirms. We saw the Zare into Bear earlier on in this match. Helper not quite finding the kill just yet with the Uppy. Keeping the Faraga on line, but what a mash by Helper. Saving him from that berry. That surely would have been a boost kick. Oh! He falling Nair 2 into F-Tilt. Helper clutching it out after what really looked like Aster's game. Yes. Yes. Ooh, I'm actually a little bit uh, intrigued by what's going on uh, down in the bottom right. Vessel versus Inosuka. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Sephiroth. I'm seeing Meta Knight. 
That's, that's, oh, just kidding. I'm not seeing any Meta Knight, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Never mind. Very unfortunate. All right, well, let's uh, see. Let's see, where do we want to go then? Uh, we can go back to Helper, or we can go back to either of these Yoshi sets. <laughs> uh, let's see. Raptor versus Lechonkla is looking like it's coming to an end pretty soon. Or at least for the first game. Let's go back to stream just to be safe then. All right. Let's see. Asta running right back to Battlefield, which I definitely agree with. One of ZSS's best stages, if not the best. But as we saw before, Helper no stranger to Battlefield. Thor does get a lot off of these platforms. So let's see how Aster can change things up here in game two. All right, keeping the recovery a little bit more safe, recognizing that Helper wasn't going for that Thundaga. Just flip jump your way back to center stage. All right, yeah, Helper is definitely catching on to the timings of these Zares. He's not going to get caught by another one of those Zare Bears. He's going to get caught with uh, kind of a random down air as we're finding his way back down to ground. Right, yeah, and just waiting out that counter. Aster once again in a stock lead. And, you know, for as good of airspace control as Sora has, he doesn't have a whole lot to deal with burst movement like ZSS's flip jump. Although, really, who does? Who, who can react to, to a thing like that? ZSS just going right back into center stage like that. Ooh, Aster looking for a cheeky spike there at the ledge. Not quite finding it. But also not finding any extra credit, except for these two two small hits. So again, these Zares upper just taking a t taking some time, finding his way in. Back throw not doing it just yet, but help, helper reading the flip jump with the up air that lasts so long. And he's going to be taking uh, Aster's first stock. Ooh. Aster looking for some cheeky empty jump movement right there, but Helper, Helper sniffing it out. And finally, Aster finding one of those uh, Zares into a grab. All right, just a little bit of a jab combo, setting Helper back up at the ledge. Helper now with no jump, which means he's got to uh, commit to that Sonic Blade. Aster not finding the side B on the up B either. But yeah, I really appreciate the just the hit and run playstyle that Aster is doing right now. Just getting the, that one meaningful hit, putting Helper back off stage, and then you know ZSS is fast. Just run to the other side of the stage. Don't deal with trying to edge guard Sora. And just find that that one meaningful hit once again, because it really feels like where Helper is struggling in this matchup is once he finds his way back into center stage. The SS frame data just a little bit too good right now. Does find the paralyzer hit, but didn't uh, wasn't ready for it. Instead, Helper finding an F smash, bringing things back to even stocks, but 56%. This is about where game one was. We're gonna see if Helper can recreate that magic and find the comeback. All right, getting some Sonic Blade damage, putting Aster now in the corner. Ooh, all right, finally. Hitting that up tilt anti air. Ooh, some timing mix ups from Aster on the platform. Helper staying patient in the shield, not getting caught by it. Now getting put back off stage once again. And yeah, it feels like Helper hasn't found too much issue with finding his way back into center stage. It's just once he's back in there, Aster has been dominating and does so with the flip jump berry into boost kick. We are now in 1-1. One, one. see. Uh, I know we got uh, one request to go over to 21, so maybe we'll take a visit. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at Aster and Helper if they, when they get closer to the end of that game. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Check out Slade versus Paul Blart the Falco. Let's see, I think, I don't know if, I I think this is game two, I'm not I think sure. That, yeah, I'm not, this is either two or three. I, the Yoshi did win, uh, Slade did win game one. Oh, okay. or, or the previous game, whether that was game one or two. Okay, so 
if, if Slade wins According this, according to chat, this is game three. Okay, all so right. I'll, I will blindly trust it and set the scores to one. Chat would never lie to us. I don't think so. No, not at all. All right. So anyway, Slade versus Paul Blart, Yoshi Falco. Slade picking up some nice confirms off of the missed tech from Paul Blart. Now, this matchup definitely feels like it's a little bit more in Falco's favor. Falco has, you know, some fantastic anti-airs and air-to-airs in those long-lasting hitboxes up till neutral air, forward air, but Slade right now not looking too pressed about it. Right, Phantom hit on the down tilt, meaning Slade has to give up that interaction, but picking up another one just like that, Paul Blart has just not really found any sort of momentum thus far. Hasn't really found the space to throw out any buttons. Finally, though, getting a forward air out of the egg lay. Ooh, okay, we got drag downs. Paul Blart with the tech. That is a used jump, but unfortunately, Paul Blart missing the down air, meaning Slade's making it back into center stage, reading the tech in place. All right, let's see. Yeah, uh, Slade reading Paul Blart, wanting to just run off of the platform. That's going to get caught by the up smash. And Paul now down three stocks to one. He's going to have to make some sort of miracle happen. And, you know, as big as Yoshi is and as prone he is to Falco's combo starters, he does have that double jump armor. So Paul's really going to have to make something happen here. See, and even regardless of the starters, Paul has just not found a single one. Already getting lapped in percent and a three stock victory for Slade. Sealing excuse me, sealing out the 2-1 victory. And speaking of 2-1 victories, uh, someone is gonna get that in Helper versus Aster, as Aster now on his potential winner's side stock. As Helper is up just three stocks to one. No platforms online for uh, for Aster as this was Helper's counterpick. And we can already see the difference that it is making. Already 75% catching the flip jump. Aster is living that. And the long tether only saving Aster for just a little bit as Helper clutches that out with a another three stock victory for 2-1. So, there we go. It looks like Raptor taking things over Lechonkla on Station 20 as well, which means our only remaining uh, set right now is Kurt, Switch, and Re. All right, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. We got the Re Swordsman as... Okay, he's living. We're fine. Re Swordsman, as always, coming in with the... The, the more classic Mii Sword Fighter set, I know uh, another one has been kind of making the rounds, but doesn't matter too much as Kurt Switch finds the side B to take that game. And that's another one I'm not sure what game it was, I think. All right, yeah, looks like we are... Kurt Switch is up a game. Not sure if Ree has won one just yet, but it is it is one something. Re taking us on over to oh, PS2. He's going to be sticking with that me sword fighter. Kurt sticking with the Bowser. So, yeah, the, the set that Re typically runs with the, you know, the Chakram, Tornado, Hero Spin, and Reflector, I think, is definitely geared more more so towards the like stage control sort of zoner setup that he likes to do and ps2 definitely going to be conducive to that and of course getting him platform extensions with the tornado so what's the score here uh one something kurt switch won the last game i have no idea if it's game two or three very well Right, multi-hit down air, getting re back down into center stage in the semi spike from the down air. Now putting re up a stock. Ooh, that's gonna be a big confirm off of the slow chakram. Only twenty percent though. You can't be swinging too many aerials against Bowser. He's got that huge invincible up smash. Ooh, sword. Ooh, I'm loving these snipes from Rhea as well. 
with the Chakram, but Tough Guy coming through, I think. Yes, you cannot Tough Guy. I, you can't do slow Chakram on Bowser. It that simply is, is not done. That is in incredibly unfortunate for Ree. Chakrams do have knockback growth, so it might start breaking through Tough Guy at some point. Like that, it yeah. just did. It's not a lot of knockback growth, but it is there. Alright, Ree keeping things safe, running to the other side of that stage, wanting to set up this zone once more. Kurt almost getting the read, but not quite. He does have a lot of rage on deck, so Ree's got to be careful. Yep, like we were saying before, that slow chakram finally finding the mark, and you cannot hang on to ledge for that long. He was ready for the first moment it happened. Yep. Oh, yeah. now it's not tough going on. Maybe rage has a factor too. Maybe? Can you, I mean, can you tough guy oh. in the air? Yeah, you can. Okay. I, yeah, I guess rage must have something to do with it. Tough guy is definitely a mechanic. It's fine. Yeah. All right, but, ooh, the Chakram coming in to save Re from that grab setup. See if Kurt's able to get anything off of this one from center stage, getting a clean 55 out of oh. it. I love oh. that falling up air. All right, there we go. Uh, Re rather getting right back onto those PS2 platforms once again, trying to set up that zone, set up that returning chakram. Okay, but Kurt bringing things a little bit closer back to even. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, don't tell me he did that. On hero me, spin. Sword fighter. He did that on purpose. He didn't really. But the day one Link stuff working oh, out Link. for Re. Oh, Link, what are we gonna do with you? Let's watch a different set. Let's check out uh, fellow commentator Swiss Rider coming in against Pokefan Z here on TNC, and I believe this is game one. Now let's see, Pokefan up a up a stock right now and is getting pretty close to an Arsene, but it doesn't nice. matter as Swiss finding the Shield Breaker. Don't even need to worry about being close to the ledge at that high percent. Swiss is gonna find that stock. Ooh, but Pokey, you know, enacting some really just a really good poke game plan right now with these ehas into the gun just finding the chip damage you're already up a stock you can play this safe this safe game make swiss only get uh just glancing blows you can start getting that arsene meter or you can just find an anti-air up smash getting almost a full stock up here on swiss rider Ooh, platform extensions Maybe gonna wait for Swiss to land on the platform. Does try and find the grappling hook. I gotta say, no Joker can resist going for the grappling hook. <laughs> I know. It almost 99% of the time it never works, but they just gotta do it. Ooh, leave in and out from Pokey. And might be finding Swiss's final stock here in game one. Does so with the R send back air. TNC coming in to haunt Swiss Rider. All right. Ooh, we got Devin 3000 on on the screen. Not anymore. Mm, he's, well, he's it's, it's fine. So switching already to that Ivy Sword, he's gonna be want to set up this Razor Leaf zone. You can already see oh. VLZ. I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. No, nope, oh. we're going right to 22. Oh, okay. <laughs> someone someone redeemed for it. Who's redeeming for me, Sword Fighter? Me, Sword me. Fighter. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love watching the Re Sword Fighter. It's very fun. So let's see. We've got game three. Even stocks. A it has been a pretty even set, all things considered. Pretty much every game has gone down to last hit. So we're going to see if that will be the same for game three. So Ooh. something I do want to say about this matchup, Bowser is one of the characters who can get messed up pretty badly by uh, me Sword Fighter down air on the edge guard front. But if you're running hero spin, you can't go that deep to like get one of those down air edge guards on Bowser. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a non-factor in this matchup. But if he were running, for example, Stone Scabbard or Scabbard Slash Dash, then he could do it. Well, we did we did actually see Re get one earlier on in the set. So did he? Yeah. 
he's being so careful. Oh my god. He's not being careful with that hero spin, though. He tried going for to do the, the link. The funny, funny reverse hero spin. Kurt not falling for it twice. He is finding these snipes with the Chakram, but not a whole lot to show for it. Just finding, just giving Kurt the rage, but is able to confirm out of the tornado, and we are down to a dead even. Yo, idle poses? <laughs> we don't taunt. We do idle poses. We once again, underneath these platforms, just trying to set up that zone with the fast Chakram and the tornado. But Kurt just fighting his way through. Ooh. Another fast Chakram tornado to try and cover that Side platform. Beam. Boom. Boom. It's all he needs. He needs one hit and suddenly it's even again. Oh, no. He, he led rolled into Bowser. Side beam. Oh, he's not. Ooh. Ooh, this could be it, especially off the top platform, but re-holding on for dear life. With 123. Weight. He weighs 100. No! Oh, oh, you fool! Another one. <laughs> Bowser just wanted to shake his hand. Bowser? Bowser's? Let's see. Kurt Switch takes a game. All right, let's go to King and Kyson. And I, I, I believe uh, Pokefan versus Swiss Rider is over. Yes. It looks like Pokefan went to the Aegis <sighs> game to... Saw them plug their headphones into the Switch. All right. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we've got some lovely for forest ambience in the meantime. And yes, Pokefans wins 2-0, I guess. All right. Uh, <laughs> there are headphone modules... All right, no games in progress. Uh, two minute ad time, baby. <laughs> All right, looks like King taking that game. I'm not sure what game number it was. That was King who took the game, right? Yes, yeah. Well, let's go to a setup where there actually is music. They lost their stream privileges. Yep, sorry. Revoked. In the meantime, we've got Devin3000, a man who can appreciate a good stream setup, as he is responsible for it. But you'll see it right now being responsible for some massive damage. 55%, 84, and climbing. I mean, 55%, that kind of getting off easy for a Luigi down throw combo. So Devin's still in this right now. But the turnaround up B, being VLZ, going to be finding that first stock. All right, some Flame Breath trying to catch any and all roll opportunities from VLZ. Just get that damage. Ooh, and chasing all the way out there. Finding the back air. Devin still in this dead even. Uh, stocks and percents. Ooh, a little bit of creativity in the combos coming out with the, the down tilt extensions. I'm liking what I'm seeing from VLZ. Surprised VLZ didn't try pressing down B while in that fire. <laughs> Yeah. I bet there was a gap. Ooh. Going nice. off stage against Luigi is so scary because he might get a misfire on you. Yeah. He might up B coin you and then you just screw up your recovery. He might footstool you. I mean, at the very least, Devin is sticking with the Charizard right now. So he's got the multiple jumps. He's got the, the super armor fly. And yeah, I'm really, I'm actually really liking the adaptation that I'm seeing from Devin, just making this Charizard work. Not something that you would, definitely not something that you would expect to see against such a combo fiend like Luigi. You would not expect to see big bodies. It certainly is strange. Oh, Dill is here today. Okay. Ooh, but Devin is making the Zard work right now, finding the up air, just using these huge hitboxes of Charizard to keep the Luigi out secure these kills. See, at ledge, though, it's definitely going to be where Zard starts to struggle. VLZ brings us right back into dead even. Uh-oh. Crap, down throw. Ooh, kind of dropped it, but just a little bit of a reset. Finding the down B, resetting things. 
Now we are back into the Zard. This has been Devin's moneymaker here in game two. Yeah, oh. but we don't get to watch anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so close to being over, though. Yeah, well, why so are, that's a ruin the fun. Why are we subject to the fickle whims of chat? All right, VLZ wins because someone didn't want to watch the set. Yeah, that's your fault, Devin chat. Devin loses you did because, because he didn't have the faith and cheering of everyone. Instead, we've got here at Station 22, VV versus Slade. VV rocking the Terry once again. VV. VV. Power what? dunk! Using that uh, long range grab of Yoshi's to catch the auto cancel power dunk, but an easy confirm into the true rising tackle, meaning VV going to be taking a very healthy lead here. Slade has just not been able to find too much damage, trying to anti-air with the eggs. Catch these power dunks. Yeah, just take it, trying to take this long range game outside of Terry's burst option range, outside of the range of the burn knuckle, of the crack shoot. But, I mean, Slade just hasn't found much to show for it. Just these little hits here and there, not able to find any sort of like juggle situation. And yeah, as soon as Slade steps just a centimeter inside the Terry zone, Vivi finds a crack shoot. Ooh, that definitely could have been Slade's chance to play the game. Vivi did not auto cancel that power dunk. But now Go Meter online, which means this long range poke style game plan is just going to get even more dangerous for Slade, as he now has to worry about Power Geyser and, of course, about Buster Wolf. Yep, you can see Vivi already starting to sh All right, never mind. The fickle whims of chat yeah. once again. We've got Dill versus Vessel here. I'm assuming game one. Vessel keeping things competitive. I like the scintilla on the gyro to make some space at the ledge. And that shield is looking super low, but not as low as Vessel's recovery, unfortunately. I love the idea from Vessel had some great shield pressure at the ledge, trying to exhaust all of Dill's options, but just exhausted a little bit too much of his own, and oh unfortunately boy. Sephiroth <laughs> is a, a light boy. Red. Anyway, that's, en that's enough of, of funny robotic operating buddy. I want to see Terry again. Terrence Bogard I want to see up. I want to see Mr. Terrence, the King of Fighters Bogard. I hate the art of fighting, but I want to be the king of fighters. This really was a Garo Mark of the Wolves. Oh my god. Ooh, finds the neutral air, but no, no confirm out of it. Slade is at low percent. And VV's not wanting to commit to too much till they find that meaningful F tilt. I don't know. I think that redemption still holds, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's just a full set thing. Oh, never mind. We're going, we're going to 20. We're going back to 22. 20? Oh, 22. Okay. Yes, feed us more of your channel points. Good lord. Oh, confirm. We, you get more channel points to uh, influence the winds of Blast Zone if you subscribe, by the way. Ooh, Vivi almost finding that confirm off of the two neutral airs, but Slade holding on for dear life. We are in uh, even stocks, but... VV hits Slade with the stare down, finding the jab confirm into Rising Tackle and taking that game. All right, let's see. Slade looking to run things back to PS2. Seeing the, yep, seeing the exact same characters. So let's see what let's see how Slade can mix things up here in game two. I definitely feel like well I I didn't we didn't get to see exactly what happened near the middle of the game, but Slade's uh you know early game plan in game one was really just not working out for him. Just trying to find just these little pokes outside the Terry burst range, and it did look like Slade was starting to find some momentum there at the end of game one like he is right now getting a great juggle getting some good damage here on Vivi not quite finding the air dodge read but definitely looking a lot better than game one 
All right, finally Eggley. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be staying outside of that Terry Burst range, just kidding. Uh, Vivi's gonna find a power Good dunk. Good lord. Terrence Bogard. Terrence Beauregard. All right, Slade's starting to use a lot more of that air mobility, but still, as once again, as soon as he gets inside that Terry zone, Vivi is finding the crack shoots. Yeah, Slade, I think, starting to get a little bit more scared once again, just being outside this uh, the burst range. And the pace has just slowed way down until he finally finds the no-tech situation, a go meter off the board for Vivi. Oh, Dill can't. wins her set. All right, let's go, Dill. Uh, let's see. Invincible rising tackle coming through on Vivi's end. Oh my god. 42 on Slade right now. Let's see if he can make something happen here and bring wow. things a little bit back to even, but another invincible rising tackle. You cannot just be thrown out buttons in Vivi's airspace like that. Now Vivi with pretty much a full stock lead here and Slade on potentially his winner side stock. Slade but doing wave dashes though. Yeah, not going out without a fight. Let's see. Crack shoot. Crack shoot. Getting Slade here in the corner, making sure he's not able to set up that space that he's been wanting to all set. Right, just exchanging some projectiles. That's out of cancel. Yep. Oh! Ooh. Good! All right. Slade still awake here in this game two. We're going to see if he can make it happen once again and bring us to game three. But 88%, he has got quite a mountain to climb. Vivi keeps coming out of the egg, down airing. <laughs> Ooh, that time went for the up air. Oh, that, that was so scary. Vivi was following Slade's aerial drift so well. But right, this, Slade living to tell the tale. This is a problem now, though, because this is Jab Jab uh, rising tackle for some. Oh, oh, Miss Tech, but doesn't no, get the no. forward smash, Whoa. but is able to get the spike, and Slade is, in fact, bringing us to a game three. Yeah, let's hear that horribly cut victory theme. I hate it so much. I do, too. They didn't need to do that. I know why, because Sakura is like, we're going to make the game feel really fast-paced. And he clearly went down to increasing the speed of a lot of the victory themes. It's four notes that he cut. Yeah. Sounds awful. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I understand if you want to shorten, like, the Ice Climbers victory theme, because that yeah. lasted legitimately, like, 15 seconds for some reason. But dang hate to see it. But in the meantime, what I love seeing is Vivi's hero as we have the switch here in game three. Gonna be making use of the PS2 platforms. PS2, definitely one of Hero's better stages as Vivi is gonna be getting a lot of space to fish for these buffs. All right, and of course, these huge anti-air hitboxes in the up tilt. All right, a little bit of a heal online. Yes, what will what will Slade do now? He's got to deal with a new matchup and one that's a lot more volatile. Mm -hmm. This is actually like the most sadistic thing about Vivi, that they will pull out Hero after they've lost games. And because of that, you might not be ready for the matchup. But Hero, Hero is one of the characters who most punishes not being ready for the matchup. He's dead. Never mind. Double I jump forgot, armor. I forgot Yoshi. Hero is absolutely one of the biggest punishers of I don't know what the matchup is. And he didn't get like those two games to get information. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. And Vivi's just standing there getting ready to off tilt. Instead, instead finding nope. the frizzle. I mean, Vivi now up a stock, Dead. but oh Slade. my god, Slay! Vivi with sizzle and kaboom on respawn. Par for the course there. Yeah, you know, it happens. See, Vivi has specific RPG buffs. They have 100% guaranteed kaboom on respawn. That did kaboom. how much now? 30 damage. Good and another thir and another 35 from kaboom. Oomph Zapple. Psych up. All right, Psych up online right now. 
Up tilt won't kill just yet, but getting hit by a projectile will be dangerous because then it'll be an up tilt range. Yeah. <laughs> oh! All right. Bounce online, which means Slade can no longer play the poke game with these eggs. And the psych up back Holy air smokes. is not looking too good <laughs> for Slade as Vivi gets the taunt on the side as well. Okay, so I'd actually like to say something about that. Yeah? Whenever I play hero, right, I'm not sure if Vivi's the same. I use my D-pad to navigate the menu. Oh, and really? sometimes I will fail to open the menu and taunt. That's actually really funny. Now, it could be BB was just taunting, but I'm just saying there is a case to be made for that was an accident. <laughs> uh, all right, BB. BB may not have taunted on purpose, but that was malicious. Malevolent. Ooh. All right, shaking hands there with the grab tech. Missing the oh, tech. another missed tech from Vivi. Slade's caught that so often in this set, but just wasn't ready for Vivi to miss. Like, surely they wouldn't miss a third tech. Ooh, going for some cheeky jab one setups, and Slade Respond still kaboom? in this. Ah, uh, no kaboom. Oh, thwack though. There it is. There. It, yeah, just one, one too late. Ooh. Even and with Vivi takes it, and also King. Let's go, King. Even with the B reverse uh, neutral B, that Zapple is going to find its mark and BB is going to find their way honestly, on into winners. Honestly, trying to find your way down after hero uh, up B's like that is really difficult. Because if you try to land on him, you have to deal with the all-consuming up tilt. And if you try to get away from him, you have to try landing through a side B. Yep. It's sadistic, I tell you. All right. Oops. But in the meantime, we've got Swiss Rider apparently up 2-0 against LaChonkla. Just taking a victory lap here in game three. That was my mistake. <laughs> Wait, go back, go back. I set it back to one. All right, oh is in fact up 1-0 against Lachanka. Lachanka finding a way up and over back into center stage. Using that dash attack to fight their way through in the up air to catch that high recovery from Swiss Rider. But just drop down Thundercats. Swiss Rider just finding that first stock. No extra credit on the board for Lachonkla. The ground hitbox is generously sized. If you think they're going to roll, you could try to catch it. Yeah, it's got a decent scoop hitbox. Ooh, but a great catch on that neutral tech. That's going to be big damage for Lachonkla. Already 91% and climbing. The juggle situation continues for Lachonkla. I see that Dill has to deal with Bowser. Bowser. <laughs> Bottom left. Right. Down tilt, not quite finding its mark for Lachanka, but Lachanka finally starting to make use oh, yeah. of this Smashville zone, like just making sure that Swiss Rider is not able to get in, which he kind of has been able to do in the past in this set, just because I mean he's just gone in and like mashed side B or something, and Lachanka just hasn't been able to like preempt Swiss Rider's approach. Rockin' saying that this that the previous game might have been a button check. Oh, maybe. So we'll see. Hey, the explosive flame getting a little bit more damage on Swiss Rider. Ooh, low profiling through the auto reticle. I love that from Swiss. See, once again, LaChonkla in control of this center stage in Smashville. What a parry. All right, LaChonkla, you're cool. Cool kid moves and finding the back air to close out this game one or two. All right, LaChonkla takes the game. Let's stay on this just so we can see uh, who has the game. We can figure it out. We can puzzle it out by looking at, uh, please press A, Swiss, I'm begging you. We are... Figuring things out through context Swiss. clues. Swiss, Please. I beg of you. All right, Lechonkla definitely has a game. How many kills are we looking at? Seven and six. Well, because that could also still count the... That's if both of their names were already on here. It's hard to say for sure. I'm going to leave the score blank. 
All right. Well, let's see. Anyway, we've got Swiss Fighter's counterpick as uh, Kalos, actually. Also, I want to see Bowser. Bowser. Funny Bowser. Bowser is an extremely funny character, as Kurt showing off some humor as he takes Dill's first stock here in game one. That's tough. Going for landing mix-ups against Bowser is quite rough. Yeah, it's not, he can just he can just up B and you take a bunch of damage for it. Let me check frame data for a second, because if Ooh. whether or not Bowser can rely Jesus Christ. Whether or not Bowser can reliably up B Rob's Nair is an important facet of the matchup. I'm checking now. And definitely up B uh, the drag down up air there from Dill. Dill trying to set up some space there with the gyro. Of course, Bowser as such a big body does have to find his way around all these projectiles. And you can see Dill opting to go for much more of a projectile based game plan. As she finds the side B, but not finding the follow up back air. And Kurt finds his way back into center stage. All right, got the data. Rob's Nair Ooh. is, Jesus Christ. Rob's Nair is minus three at best. Bowser's up B, frame six. So it's definitely, Jesus! <laughs> Goodbye. It's definitely possible for him to get up B's out if Dill doesn't do perfect Nairs. You know, if she like lands on top of Kurt's shield, he can definitely do an up B. Mm. The cross up on the last hit. I hate that Ooh. so much. All right, Dill wasting out that invincibility time, meaning we're back to a dead even game as Kurt now has to contend with Rob with Gyro as Dill might be looking for another side B setup. No, we're not. No? Okay. We aren't looking sure. for that. We're Wh looking for... Whatever you say, chat. We're looking at we're looking at me, Sword Fighter. Yeah, me, Sword Fighter. Woo! Woo I feel like he could have... And goodbye. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I feel like he could have just went down and caped him, but you know what? Me. We probably didn't want to have to deal with a potential Aqua Slash. All right, we're focusing this game. Let's do it. All right. Let's see some more me Sword Fighter. Ooh, and Dill clutching out game one. Let's see, meanwhile, we've got, of course, LeChonk the Swiss Rider looking pretty even as Swiss Rider's counterpick of Kalos does seem to be working out. Oh, so something I want to say about that uh, music menu that I realized sort of recently. Mm -hmm. So, you know how it says, like, Mario series, Metroid series, Kingdom Hearts series? It says all those, right? Yeah. I noticed that there was a discrepancy. When you highlight over the ARM series, it just says ARMS. Really? And I thought about it, and I realized the reason why. It is because for every single series in the music menu, ARMS is the only one with one game in the series. So it is not a series, it's just a game. Just ARMS game. Every other game, every other series has at least two games or more. Yeah, including the Final Fantasy VII series. Yeah. Which is just its own sub-series. It has games that are not just Final Fantasy VII. It's got Advent Children, it's got uh, Crisis Core, it's got Remake. It's got the, what's the one with um, the vampire dude <laughs> that was like a third person shooter? Don't know about that one. It was, it was on the PS2, I think. I just find that very interesting that, that the dev team like thought of that. It's, it's really funny. That ARMS, that they realized ARMS was the first game to have only one game in its series and label it appropriately. Also, just no faith. Like, there's no way this is going to be a series. There's not going to be a second ARMS game. Yeah. Well, all right, Vessel finding the grab on Ree's jump in. But very scary stuff for Ree. I just noticed, I just noticed that we are now on the, the Ree Brawler instead of the Sword Fighter. Oh, my god. Yeah. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> he dropped his sword, but he can still fight. All right, Lechonkla has Ooh. won the set, by the way. All right, Lechonkla taking things 2-0 over Swiss. Presumably 2-0. Could I've, have been 2-1. Uh, yeah. Ooh, finding the grab to ensure that Skittle damage. But yeah, Octa Slash at the ledge, that is a laggy move. So Reed going to be cleaning up that first stock but still having some trouble finding his way in. Does so with the suplex. But I wonder that's why he switched. He, he won the previous game. 
could it be? Oh my god, Suplex! Suplex! That move is a ridiculous, uh, like, platform tech chase move. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have flip kick, and... Yep. Helicopter kick not going to be finding its way back to the ledge, which means Vessel once again up a stock. The helicopter kick. <laughs> what is that angle? Almost just spiked That's Vessel. That's a regrab, but it doesn't matter. It's very hard to punish that for all three grabs. <laughs> Jumping right into the shot put, but the one wing giving Vessel that second jump. And he's going to be living just a little bit longer. Sephiroth absolutely is the living proof that there also needs to be a ledge grab limit <laughs> baked yeah. into the game, too. Because getting him off that ledge, just doing a bunch of octa slashes, that's hard. Ooh, super armor coming through. Okay, up air to catch the flip kick from Re, but finally Re fighting back, finding the back air. Black Star up a almost full stock. And Mega Flare coming through, not quite finding its mark. Ooh, very scary. Vessel almost finds that, but re and finding another suplex. <laughs> Sorry, you could you thought you could fight your way out of the suplex? It's it's still happening. All right. Platform pressure here with the up airs, oh. but re oh. taking things incredibly oh, slowly. This oh, no. To be fair, I can imagine that being a tight window. Me brawlers, uh my god. Me Brawler's forward smash is a little slow. But he can't keep shield. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I respect the I respect the push in, but <laughs> Sephiroth thinks that's hilarious. It is hilarious. Freaking Pepperoth. 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 In the meantime, though, we can check out uh, Devin versus Slade there on Station 21. Maybe for a time. I'm keeping the audio, the other one on. Unless, how oh, is this the the headphone set? No. Up. Oh, okay. Someone redeemed to 22. We gotta, we oh. gotta stay focused on oh, it. Oh well, if someone if someone redeemed 22, then we can we can check out this game three. Of course. We gotta check out the whole set. I think that's how it works anyway. I don't know what rules Devin has set for this. <laughs> I don't think there are rules. Maybe I could just look at it for five seconds and switch <laughs> off. <laughs> no rules, just right. Blast Maybe zone. He's fighting wolves. That's interesting. That is interesting. Oh, that's a death. Ooh, yep. Me Star Fighter's down tilt. True combo into up B if you don't DI away. And it can be hard because it's a single hit. With not God. a lot of hit lag. Chakram just giving Re a million years to confirm. But Vessel now down at pretty much a full stock after that super early kill. Re is sitting pretty here in game three as we are moving back onto the Sword Fighter. The Brawler experiment not quite working out for him. All right, getting these, uh, getting these snipes. And I love the slow chakram to uh, get rid of the octa slash. Also, we have Swiss Rider. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How's the uh, solo casting experiment hey, going? It's going pretty good. I'm sorry to leave you for um, like half an hour. No, it's okay. I'm gonna be doing that soon too. Oh, fantastic! I have to, I have to go fulfill my O2 obligations in about eight minutes. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. You probably saw me on stream. You saw I have no idea how to play against Pyro and Mithra. So if anybody's like, hey, you did trash, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that matchup. I I'm, have no idea. I'm very sorry that it's just your character, but better. I, You know, I kept doing options. I'm like, wait, it's like you play in my range. <laughs> you have that amazing neutral there. I'm like, what? So hold, on, <laughs> hold up a second. I just yeah. realized What's Kaizen that? is here. Ka yeah, Kaizen. Kaizen. Have you never? Kaizen. The legend. The, is he a myth? He's a myth. Oh, he's a Kirby player. The mythical Someone Kirby? Someone call Vinny. <laughs> No, don't tell him. Don't let don't him think that Kirby him. is viable. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's Kaizen. I don't care if Vinny has a problem. You. Kaizen Kirby. <laughs> he named Kirby, and I was like, yeah, I pick up some better characters, and his answer was Jigglypuff and Isabel. <laughs> oh, my God. He has a problem. Listen, listen, I understand. He's got an aesthetic. Yeah. I, can, I can appreciate that. And just like Ree's aesthetic over here, just uh, playing me Sword Fighter out of his mind. Ooh. Obviously down a whole, well, not down a game, but he did lose the last one. Yeah, but that was on uh, me, Brawler, though. 
He is feeling fresh here oh. with the Mii Sword Fighter. Ooh. And the F Smash going to be taken game three. How does Rui. that have a longer range than Sephiroth's sword? I think Vessel, Vessel, yeah, Vessel <laughs> did a different option. He, like, scintilla the wrong way or something. Oh, oh well. Oh, we're not going to go to the Kirby? Oh, but Kirby. For, sure. Production bias? <gasps> they put headphones in. Dang it. Tragic. You want to you wanna watch it anyway? No. We can no, watch it. Just put on the music. Not, it's not, not the, the same. same. It's the same. Okay. Well, hold on. Castlevania music. It's, yeah, it's, um, it feels like Castlevania is something on the GBA. It is. Hold on, I can I can pinpoint <laughs> it. Everyone keeps missing the headphone console. Area of Sorrow. Oh, I could just tell you. I believe you. It's, it's Area of Sorrow. Yes. Cursed Clock Tower. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Oh God damn it! All right, Tragic. it's a sequel. Damn. Love that soundtrack. Love those games. But anyway. We got Kaizen versus Astor here. Astor, the uh, resident Zero Suit Samus. And honestly, the way they were playing against Helper earlier was awe inspiring. Oh, absolutely. Astor definitely no slouch. But that being said, neither is Kaizen for what definitely does not feel like a matchup that is even remotely nice to Kirby in ZSS. Kaizen is making this work right now as the game is pretty much even. I mean, look, if Kirby Ooh. can take down, you know, mythical beings and gods of the celestial heights, then totally can take on this little bouncy hunter out of their suits. <laughs> Certainly Kirby can take on the most fearsome of mythical gods in White Woman. Yeah, and if they can't, well, you know, we can just play him a low tier player. True. I will say, Samus doesn't have god level feats, but she does have some pretty impressive feats. You know, after Metroid Dread, though, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty little, much well, godlike features now. She has some pretty ridiculous power scaling, even before Dread. <laughs> true, true. Even without the suit, if you take comics into account. Mm -hmm. I never read the comics. Never seen. I never even knew there were comics. Up front, oh, fake Metroid yet. fan. Oh, okay. Great recovery here. Right. I cannot believe Astor is down one whole stock. Look at this patience. Look at this spacing. Ooh, Look but at that the kill. scoop from the up smash means that Aster is going to be taking us to even, just a dead even game. All right, God's favorite uh, character over here. Trying to put in the work. Yeah. Climb up the tier list. Oh, and I love the crouch there from Kaizen. We've seen Aster try and find these pokes with the Zares, with the neutral airs, but Kirby, just one of the best low profiles in the game. Yeah, hold up. Who was saying this might be a bad matchup for Kirby? This is one of his better ones. I, that was him. That was that guy. Sorry. He can spam <laughs> down tilt and zero suit loses like half her moveset. <laughs> Unfortunately, the other half is still really good. So, All right. So nobody main Kirby, but definitely have a pocket Kirby ready for ZSS. <laughs> According to Vinny, I uh, guess some other Kirbys, Kirby beats Kazuya Mishima, so do that. No. <laughs> oh, right. that's right, because of low profiling. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Terry. Uh, well, Terry has at least down tilt. Oh, that's fair. Uh-oh. This is still a very Ooh. even match, unless Aster can't get back on stage, and Kirby does have some good edge guardian options. Ooh. Yeah, those fantastic, long-lasting aerials. This not going to be finding a punish, though, as uh, Kaizen retreats to that platform. Right, but let's see if this Kirby's going to be long-lasting here as ZSS is trying to fish for what something. What a catch! No fear in Kaizen's hearts. Down airing right into Kirby's loving arms. And Aster finds that, or Kaizen rather, finds the grab. Not wasn't able to up throw there because he just wasn't close enough to the platform. Okay, good safety back to the legend. Oh, no, you rolled that's in. That's gonna be it. Ah, oh, all the neutral in the world won't save you from being light. Poor Kirby. Was that uh, game three? I was game one. Oh, thank God. Kaizen's still in it. Vinny stocks. <laughs> Hold on to them. Hey, right, look, no no matches in progress. Time no to click matches. an ad, baby. All right. Hope you're subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're subscribed, you can still listen Whoa. to our wonderful voices. Yeah. You can still listen to this wonderful music. And, oh, are we getting some music back? Did they take out their headphones? I think Devin so, yeah. was hovering over the setup, so yes. Yes. Thank you. Devin yes, comes in with the oh, thumbs I have up. To go, I have to go play the video game. Oh, hey, hey. Two, two today? Two, two today. One. No. One, two. Two, two, two. <laughs> two, two, two. Come on, chat. Right. Two, I'll see you later. Two. Right back. It will be very short. <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. <laughs> see ya. An hour, an hour later, you're going to be in top eight.
But anyway, as Forrest goes to go win his games, we got Kaizen and Aster back here. Aster will up one against Kaizen, this fantastic Kirby. And I do like how they're playing the Game Boy Kirby. Kind of gives a retro feel to this. Yeah. It makes me happy to see Game Boy Rap since I'm playing Game Boy right now. Oh, are you? I'm playing Pokemon, the trading card game on Sir, Switch Online. Are, aren't you Aren't you on production? Don't you have to do production Not right. things? Not right now. All right, that's fair, that's fair. You know, anyway. I like telling get... people, hey, guys, I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> Please right after the Nintendo. Right after the Teal Mask DLC came out. Ooh. And I'm just like, Pokemon, the trading card game. Oh, the trading card game. Damn. Is the DLC out already? It is. Oh, what do you think? I haven't, you haven't played it yet. Uh, I'll get there. Do let me know. Uh-oh. Apparently, the performance is even worse than base <laughs> game. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, baby. Imagine the worst performing game is not Starfield. <laughs> anyway, but this Kirby outperforming all expectations, even at 115%. Well, what? you know. What was that? I, I am going to stop talking now <laughs> about the Kirby. We're going to talk about Aster now. This Kirby's fighting back. Ooh, fantastic ledge trump. Not an option that many people go for, but it is one that you really should pay attention to. If you do have difficulty performing it, just uh, shield, roll, and then you'll have an easier time doing it. But anyway, this is not going to be an easy time for Kirby as they're just struggling to get in. Oh, but that back here evening things up. Only 22% extra credits. This Kirby is still a force to be reckoned with. Oh, with the hard read. Yeah. That middle but... platform just saving uh, Aster. <laughs> Aster has a jab of their own. Jabbing in time to the music. You'll love to see it. Synchronicity. Oh, just out of range. But He's got to be more Johnny on the spot with those punishes. That's right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, the rare instance of the laser actually hitting Kirby. Some excellent movement here from Master as they take Kaizen all the way. All right, no trap, but there we go. Good side B. Oh, what do we see here? That shield cutter is definitely a very good option to get back on stage. Covers pretty much the vertical height and a bit of horizontal there for Kirby. He controls the horizontal and the vertical. And what do we see here? Oh, all right, that still connects. Oh, Kirby. We hardly knew ya. And then we're on to third stock. Kaizen's having a good tendency of answering back right after they get back from, like, a death, but we're not really seeing the right momentum for dirt bin between stocks. And what a punish. Still anybody's game here. I know he needs it, but good lord, Kirby's F-Tilt is a kill move. It's amazing. Just like Pichu. Good lord. Oh! Really, really good shield movement there. Avoiding getting a shield poke. And the aggression has been turned on. Guys in figuring out how to get in and just low prop on the laser once more. All right, double shield cutter. That's final cutter, you. Oh, final cutter, thank you. It's like Kirby cutter. would love if it was called shield cutter. <laughs> right? Just give him a Marth shield breaker. Oh, no, but that jab, actually having saved Aster twice now in this set. Down smash, but no luck. No luck, just out of range. Aster has been out of range, well, Kaizen has been out of range or below range for certain moves. Oh my god. No! Hitboxes. Alright, we gotta go watch Kuga versus Maniac. Alright, well, Kaizen, we love watching you. Aster, congratulations. But we're Good moving job, on to Beats and Kuga. Alright. Kuga having guts of fire here against. Oh, he's winning against Beats. Very nice. That's right. Oh, yes. Okay. I was trying to be like, wait, no. Beats is playing Joker. Anyway. Now, I will say this right now. Upset. Go ahead. Kuka has been very well known for having very explosive starts to all of his sets, but then he peters out partway through. So. Ah, man after my own heart. You take the first stock and you're just very happy, and then you just lose all momentum. Anyway, Kuka trying oh. to beat the allegations here, but not quite. 
Well, beating the allegations would involve winning this game. Exactly. See if he can do it. I believe. Believe in Kuga. It's not even choking. He just plays worse as time goes on without even, like, choking or anything. I don't know how to explain it. Well, it means that the other player is adapting a lot faster and Kuga just relying on the old, the same old tricks that got them the first lock. I mean, adaptation yeah, but, is a set long thing. Yeah, but that could imply that the other person is still playing the same. Ah. Kuga in this case. So far, they just have to get back to stage. He fights. Ooh. Oh, no. no! No, I hate that. Good for him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you out a few times there. Ugh. Listen, if I see Joker Shore Hop when I'm at a Hunter or higher, I just leave. I'm not dealing with that Aww. nonsense. Let's just unplug your controller and leave the venue. All right, can we go to 21 over here? I see a Captain Falcon just spiking Wario to the death zone. Wario! I believe Fury is the... Actually, I can't really tell. Oh, Another boy. myth. Right? All right, well, Fury looks like they're up one game, so I'm going to say that that's the Captain Falcon. Besides, Fury with Captain Falcon, that's just, uh, you know, the, the, the name fits the character. Uh-oh. Can't help myself from saying, Wario! After that subspace dub. Right, it's so good. All right, and Loot, trying to play more patiently against uh, this explosive Falcon. Play very patiently. <laughs> Shimming with the bike. Look at him go. Look at him control that vertical space. Gotta watch out for those down tilts from Rario. Let's oh, yes. See. It'll trip you up. Or oh. that forward tilt. He'll dash attack you. Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh. Taking a full bank to the face as Fury goes down to their second stock. And we got that low percentage combos here, just even it, almost evening it up here. Wow. All right. Go. Fury finally able to answer back here. See who's... No ledge trapping, just resetting neutral instead. Oh, baby. No, oh, no knee. Ah, uh, go. All right. That slow bike just carefully moving its way forward. Oh, the Falcon up smash. Hey, you know, it reads rolls. It's pretty good. It catches everything. It is an all consuming up smash. Seriously. When in doubt, up smash, up smash, up smash. Uh oh. I open Rivals Workshop when they make 100% accurate Falcon. First hit up smash just covers the whole screen. <laughs> All right, Falcon just trying, Freer just trying to get back on stage. Blue just waiting for the right moment to throw out that walk, but it's going to have to be that last stock. Oh, I think 150 is a good time to. No! Go. Okay, all right. Loot almost just throwing it all. Fury, okay. Fury not trying to approach because that's going to happen. And this is very even. Perhaps even in Loot's favor here. And we do see that Maniac has won their first game against Sido, evening up that set. So it looks like Loot wants to even this up. All right, no read there, and a great little afterburner. Oh, Fury playing a little too impatiently here. And oh my gosh, Loot misses the confirm, but doesn't need it. Looking to close this out after having lost their win condition. Oh my gosh, all right, no two frame there. Ooh. And the fear is real. Down tilt to forward to dash attack. All right, nope, doesn't kill just yet. And, uh-oh. Wait a minute. You see, Wario having the bike used against them. All right, not going to kill just yet. Good back air. What do we see? Not going to use that. Up smash. Oh, no, but a good ledge attack. Oh, when the head takes it, loot evens up this set. <laughs> if there is anybody at production, I believe John just left. Yeah, what up? Could we go to 22? Would sure. love to see Sino and Maniac. 22, let's go. All right, Maniac having lost the first game of this set, has switched to Ike and has been doing a phenomenal job against Sinnoh's Isabel. Not a character to be slept on, or a player. 
All right, Sinnoh trying to set something up there with the Lloyd Rockets. Doing a really good job of just outspacing Ike until that up the out of shield. Ooh, a little party popper. All right, dangerous position here. Isabel, one of the characters, one of the many characters in this game that can pretty much stuff Ike's recovery. But uh, Maniac showing that Ike is a force to be reckoned with, too. <gasps> oh, Good my God. heart. Oh, my soul. Oh, my jaw just dropped. <laughs> could, we, could we get that on replay? No, not yet. Okay. All right, maybe. <laughs> not, not to... <laughs> Not the bad mouth at all, but oh my gosh, just phenomenal play there from Maniac as they move on in bracket. But Loot and Fury just duking it out here as Fury is trying to. Oh. As Fury is trying to just uh, close out the stock. But Loot playing so patiently here, just throwing out that giant hitbox that is the motorcycle. All right. And a good grab into the knee. First one of the sets. Every Falcon gets at least one. All right, low percentage combos, but Wario just a little too floaty to make that easy. All right, dash attack. Oh, there's no jump. No, they did have a jump. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been the end of Fury there. All right, good jab. All right, some really good patience there. Oh! All right, no conversion after that roll. That shield looking way too small to approach. And a good dash attack. Sets up for something. Doesn't get anything. Warrior's hitboxes are just too big to answer. But finally, getting that Raptor boost. Ooh. All right, motorcycle not quite taking it just yet. All right, good forward tilt. What do we see here? Everyone wants to use that, but Fury just throwing it away. Doesn't need it. All right, back air takes them off stage. No two frame. And finally get that back air. All right, Fury up two whole stocks. Blue being a little desperate there just with the uh, down tilts. Trying to get a down tilt into a dash attack. And Fury is on a roll, but loses that first stock finally. Blue to 52% on their last stock. Fury has to be very careful that they don't fall victim to these low percentage combos. All right, and a good grab. No knee. Just trying to make something happen with these juggles. All right, jumping out to safety. Luke probably wanting to cash out this waft uh, on second stock just to even up this game. It probably would be worth it at the pace that they're playing. It takes a minute and a half to get that waft back online. So cashing it out now would just mean that they can stall for time. Uh oh. All right, and we're seeing Fury. Yes, good afterburner. Out of shield. Try and trap the Wario into an option. Oh, and a good back air reading the roll as Fury takes a set 2 1. All right, so far we don't have anything else on the screen. Force Armor is uh, playing their set. Soon we will have them on screen, but uh, looks like Casterman and Casey have finished their sets. I, uh, no, I think Casterman and Casey are getting started. Oh, they're getting started? Yeah. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll go to them very soon. But in the meantime, be sure to share the stream. Be sure to follow if you haven't. And if you're like, hey, I got a few pennies lying around, <laughs> $5, be sure to subscribe at Tier 1. You can get an ad-free experience. You can help keep a roof over this Kirby's head. And you can always feel good about supporting your local scene. And House of 3000, the best in the biz, moving live production forward. They do everything from esports to community events. Make sure to uh, tweet hashtag free house of 3000. If you're like, I'm going to zed it out, get out. Yeah. We don't want you. But you know what? We do want you to come to Xeno Weeklies every single Wednesday. $15 total entry, hosted by the wonderful house of 3000. And don't forget that we do have Xeno Saga next Saturday, the 23rd. Be sure to get all those uh, updates on Blue Sky. And definitely check out the Discord. And again, tell people to follow the Twitch.tv uh, House of 3000. It is here in beautiful Chinatown in Manhattan. You don't want to miss it. Speaking of not wanting to miss, we're going to Station 20 to see what Casterman and Casey are up to. Let's go. Casterman uh, getting off their stint from the Game & Watch. And Casey, another Falcon in brackets? 
Oh my god, where are they coming from? This is awesome. I love watching Falcon. And wait, Casterman being like, come on, it's Falcon. He's not that great. Oh my lord. Uh oh. All right, Casterman being like, done. We're that's moving That's not on. the input that you want. Yes. For those of you who don't know, Casterman does rock a homemade hitbox. So, uh, you know, sometimes uh, people can get a little flustered on that thing. It's okay. Even on GameCube controllers, pro controllers, you can always miss inputs. He's using the uh, the keyboard GG. Keyboard GG. Yeah. I, I tried playing on that one time, and it was either the five beers I had or it's just that wonky. I, I could not for the life of me work it out. I, I, I forget what he was using before, but it was another sort of like hitbox. Smashbox? Uh, it wasn't Smashbox because it wasn't like 200 feet wide and 2,000 pounds. Oh my god, uh, you're right. It, I think it was. I, I think it was just a snack box, maybe. But yeah, snack boxes are pretty comfy. And so. now using the keyboard, GG. I feel like it's gonna be GG real soon if Casey keeps this uh, momentum. Yeah. Oh no, no. Okay. <laughs> Casey just showing off and uh, getting punished heavily for it. All right. Casterman finally getting some good out shield options here. Trying to read a roll on. Pressure with the T-Jolts. Oh my god! And Casterman goes down into the blast zone and into the next game of this set. Well, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> that was just a really good spike. Yeah. But anyway, Casterman definitely Hoping to not have another miss input there. It feels like kind of the energy was sucked out of that set once that happened. Yeah, because like, you know, when you're playing Pichu and then you have to start playing from behind, especially with like such a fast character like Falcon, it's like, oh, I really need to go up. I really have to play this uphill battle and I weigh nothing. Right. Now, what was very cool to see actually was Casey having the matchup knowledge of being able to down smash the T-Jolts. That's honestly something that, you know, most Pichus, whether it's Pikachu or something like that, can really pressure most characters on butts. As you were seeing with that down smash, that was clanking with every single one making it safe. And so it wasn't something that Casterman could actually rely on very much. But anyway, so, we're going to... Casterman's making the, uh, the Game & Watch switch. So he has been talking about this, about how they're not maining Game & Watch, but they are saving Game & Watch for those bad matchups, or what they consider bad matchups. And I think after that first game, they're like, maybe this is a bad matchup. And we're going to see if, game and watch, if their game and watch can do any better. So far, a much better beginning. Oh, but that Raptor boost coming in clutch. Wow. A very good setup there from KC. As that up tilt just uh, spikes game and watch off ledge. And because the uh, game and watch is just so light, just uh, flew down. Casey, so confident. Playing like Falcon himself. Casterman has had the bad habit of just swinging first, trying to get anything started. Ooh, that up smash and re just calling out that jump in. We're finally getting these fishbowl combos. All right, a good jab. Making bacon. But unfortunately, Casey's bringing the heat. All right, no jab. Oh, the down smash is way too risky. All right, and a good dash attack. Casterman trying to space with the bacon once more. Trying to rush in, get a good out shield option. All right, not really spamming the bombs as much many as other game and watches are. <laughs> Just holding the down smash for your dear life, and Casey is like. This is my time to shine. With a good knee, taking the set. 2-0. Well, let's see what uh, station... Oh! Where do we want to go? Well, let's go station 22. My boy, Randy May Crazy against the terrifying Fawn. Fawn's Wario really making a statement uh, these past few weeks. It's a character that they've had, but that they started playing off Ultimate with, and, you know, in recent days, they're like, no, 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 this, this, uh, this character's still really good. As you can see on the uh, the Gamer Dungeon cam here, Randy's the, you can actually see Randy make crazy there with the uh, Ash Ketchum hat there as they're trying to get some advice from uh, Fawn. And it looks like Randy make crazy is going Cloud instead? I know that they have a Cloud. And they also have a Wolf. 
But I always see them in my heart as a Link main. Yeah. Well, in any case, blonde dude's big swords. He has a type. All right. Ooh, making a bad mistake there with the climb, with the climb hazard. This one's trying to get these combos started. Oh no. All right. Down tilt into the dash attack. Brandy trying to cover the recovery there with the side B. Yes. Oh. Oh no. Bond with a really good trade there with the neutral air just stopping Cloud's recovery. It is very, very exploitable as this character. All right. Brandy in the mix. Not getting out. Finally with a good up tilt. Oh, trying to catch the jump back in with an up smash. Misses. Brandy not really using any of the projectiles here. Oh, but getting a good back air, evening up the stocks. So far, this is working out for the better. Limit is on. Oh, a little too soon. Not confirming from anything, making it very risky. They may just want to throw it out as a don't approach me kind of option. All right, finally getting back. Good air dodge back to the ledge. Excellent. All right, trying to get those back airs. Really good spacing. Doesn't really get anything from that recovery. Oh. All right, Randy having learned that they can't just roll back on stage. Not against Fawn. Not going to kill, but it looks cool to zoom in. But that up smash is going to kill as Randy is up one full stock. But maybe not for long. All right. Oh, but this waft is here. It's not going to come out just yet. Fawn most likely want to save that for last stock against Randy. All right, Randy jumping to safety on these platforms. Just playing very slowly, which is what you have to do against Wario. You have to outpatient Fawn sometimes. Excellent climb hazard off stage. Oh my gosh, no! Projectile missing. Trying to create some distance, forcing Fawn to jump, but don't think Randy can recover. They can! Magnet hands coming in clutch. Oh no! All right, now this is an even game. Fawn was able to take that second stock. This waft is here. They just have to get Randy up to about 40 to 50%. And that's going to be a kill. And this is looking easy. No, not quite. Oh, no! No jump? Randy had no jump to recover. Ah. But it's okay. Randy's getting some high fives. Being like, good job. Sinnoh giving them a high five. The girl, well, no, that's not Sinnoh. But uh, the two girls giving Randy a high five. So you know what? Who in the end wins? It's all about them high fives from the cuties in the, in the crowd. But anyway, we got John Numbers versus Maniac. Three, two, one, go! My John Numbers going to show Maniac a thing or two about Ike. As John always says, this character's bad. But you know what, Maniac? Maniac's got a bit of chip on their shoulder. Wanting to prove to people that Ike is still worth considering. And from the performance today, definitely. Never want to sleep on a good Ike. Not with that range. And a really good quick draw there. A risky grab, but John not punishing. Just waiting to get that download. All right, John charging up that Sun Salutation. We're not getting a good ledge trap here. That back air barely missing as John faded away. Yeah, Ike's grab, you know, definitely not one of the better Fire Emblem ones. Just kind of like right in front of him. Obviously a mid-range character, you don't want to try and get in too close. Oh my gosh, Maniac risking a Sun Salutation to the face. John burying them, getting a good forward air. Oh my gosh, Maniac playing so well, just jumping over John Numbers. Even that weak Sun Salutation would have put Maniac in a precarious situation. The Maniac recovering to the platform. <laughs> Just playing a bit of volleyball there with the soccer ball. All right, really good sharking here from Maniac as John is in the air. But unfortunately, as Ike Maniac can only go so far. John dashes in. 
right, John at the ledge. Gets that sliding forward tilt. And Maniac is down one full stock. John Embers is at 98, though. That is kill percent as Maniac claps right back, bringing this to an even game. All right, Maniac finally getting that grab. John, having been conditioned to not worry about that, finally gets empty jump to grab again. All right, good neutraler. Oh, but unfortunately, Maniac's not going to get that third grab. Gets punished for it, but the header rolls right into the Sun Salutation. Good quick draw. Was a good get off me tool. It's not often that Maniac is ahead of John here in the game. And it was for a little bit. And there's just so much work to be done to get back. But you know what? John takes off that second stock and Maniac down their last. Unfortunately, playing just now a little too aggressively. Trying to change the pace, but John, this is exactly what John wants in this game. To make people overcommit. Maniac trying to hit that soccer ball away. Blanking with the Sun Salutation. Oh, okay. The Ether powering on through that soccer ball. Very danger dangerous for Maniac. Maniac getting a little too grab happy there. And John is uh, too happy to oblige with the back air. John trying to read that jump with a neutral air. Oh, but low profiles that neutral air. Good quick draw. Catches John by surprise. Some really good shield pressure here for Maniac. Oh, okay. A good air dodge back. Oh, but that is a re-grab. Here we go. All right, John doesn't have deep breathing yet. Maniac having scared them. Oh, no punish. Just barely missing that forward tilt. No, and dropping into the Sun Salutation. John up one game against Maniac. Let's go see what Carflo and Fury are up to. You know, Fury, having done an excellent job his last sets, is up against one of our better players here, Carflo, having won a few uh, Xeno Weeklies themselves. Oh no, going too far off stage, but you know what? Able to still recover against this dangerous Roy. But Fury is on their last stock. Carflo doing a really good delay on that uh, Dancing Blade. All right, and a good jab. Not enough to take Carflo's first stock in this game, but that back air will. Falcon being a very explosive character can definitely bring this back, but Fury's gonna have to play immaculately. And a good bait. No, that dash attack just not too far. All right, one neutral air beating the other one out. If you guess Carflo, that would be correct. And a good ledge trump. A good roll in. Saves Fury. Oh my gosh. Both just spot dodging for their lives. Fury trying to call out an option. But Carful is ready. No, and no jump. But Carful's like, I know you lost your jump. Magnet hands aren't going to save you. I'm going to kill you by my own hands. All right, Carflo winning that set 2 0. We should definitely check out. Uh, I would say, uh, how about Station 1, Vivian King? Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, King, an excellent PT going up against our resident hero, Vivi. Vivi's definitely been cycling, the, cycling through Hero and uh, Lucario a lot these last couple weeks. But they keep coming back to Hero. It's who they are. It's in their blood. Shout out to Mortal Kombat 1. It, I'm glad everyone is here not playing Mortal Kombat 1. Mott, we miss you. But I'm sure Mott's having a lot of fun. I know that they've been uh, looking forward to that game for weeks. All right, King doing a really good job of just calling out all these options at the ledge. Look at good neutral air. Gets Vivi back on stage. All right, we got the psych up. That's all Vivi needs to just throw King into the stratosphere. At 82%, this is definitely a opportunity for Charizard to close this uh, stock out. But no, King instead uh, wanting to go for these percentages, trying to get rack up that damage with Squirtle. Not a character, not a character that can often kill, 
but definitely one that can get to you in a good position here. Oh. All right. Up smash? Interesting. All right, we got Ivysaur. More care for the kill power. All of the kill power. All right, but we got Charizard back. Get a good forward air. All right, are we going to get a zoom here from Vivi? No, but you know what? Has enough mana to get back there. I had a good scoop with that up smash. And we're switching back to Squirtle to rack up this damage. All right, Vivi trying to catch uh, King Ob by surprise with that uh, kaboom. Fading back off the platform. All right, and a good parry there from Vivi to turn the tides. Keep Squirtle off him. No Crackle Slash? All right. No, we're just going to get some. We're just going to heal ourselves. Oh, my gosh. That snooze? No, Vivi is so good at that. All right, so far, another Psych Up. Oh, King is in trouble if Vivi gets that grab again. It's their special at this point. It really is. Ooh. Both just uh, kind of chest bumping in the air. And Vivi throwing out the first strike. To take uh, King to their last lock. All right. And here we go. Not quite going to kill, but does get Vivi off stage. Not able to read the roll back on stage. <laughs> Vivi eyeing that kamikaze for a split second. At 24, though, would have been a funny option, even if it didn't kill. This is an even game, though. Both players at such low percents. Oomph was right there, but unfortunately not enough time to get it off. All right. King, sharking the platforms. Oh, but the crackle slash. Vivi trying to close it out with a thwack. Doesn't quite get in range there. And Kaboom just barely missing as King switches off to Ivysaur. All right, these back airs, very nice. Getting that back up to 42%. All right, down air is not going to quite seal it out. King pressuring VV enough that they can't even choose an option from the menu. But they are, all right, there's going to be no more Razor Leaf. Now with Bounce on. And a back air seals the deal. Vivi up one game in this set. But while we wait, let's go check out how Fawn is doing against KC. It's been a gauntlet of Falcons this uh, bracket. And it's good to see KC so far ahead. Not quite in the top cut, but uh, they are close. And a good Falcon kick is always a good burst option. Neutral are covering the recovery. Ooh, but no spike, a phantom footstool. Oh, and Casey's gonna get heavily punished for that after, for that after boost. Alright, Raptor boost missing. And a good down tilt. Puts Spawn in a terrible position. Boreal living to 148. All right, one and a half percent. We'll take that. No way. That neutral air almost taking KC out. All that work from KC. And a back air takes them out. This is exactly where Fawn wants to be with Wario. Oh my gosh, even a weak waft will take them out at 870%. Fawn showing off, just going to the other side of the stage. KC getting a little frustrated here. Just looking at this percent, 140, 59, being like, I can kill, I'm Falcon, and finally does. Oh no. Bond confident enough to go out. Alright, we got the bike out. Catches the get up. And a, oh, and a <laughs> forward tilt just to get Casey out of here. Bond up one game in this set. Well, I definitely got to see the end of this uh, Vivi versus King match. Could we go back to Station 1? Heck yeah. All right. King back in a very familiar position. Oh, but stage spikes Vivi? Excellent work. Vivi just not ready for that option. 
But there is Psych Up. King could die to an up tilt, and they do. Alright, Squirtle is here to bring this back. Alright, this is a good percentage. 47%, 57%. Alright. The up air not going to take it, but... Ooh. There we go. Good spike. King going to do it again. Even stocks. Oh, no. Gets news. Critical. Oh, just grazing the blast zone. Caught by Sizzle. King's got to get out of bad positioning here. Ivysaur really is the right choice here. No, and a back air again to hate. No! Still living Flare Blitz. All right, Charizard. No, but just jumps a little too close to Vivi and dies forward with an up tilt. All right, let's go back to 21. See what's going to happen here with Fawn versus Casey. See if uh, Casey has learned anything from the last one. Trying to get that knee. Fawn parrying it. Fawn chasing after Casey all the way to the ends of the earth. Casey down their first stock. Casey definitely playing more aggressively, but a lot more patience. Trying to catch Fawn. All right, <laughs> that up. Here's the thing. That up smash. Amazing rage. Fantastic. Fawn's not going to fall for that. It's unfortunate that Captain Falcon is that you have to have somebody in like a perfect position for... Oh my god. This, oh, the weak walks even then killing so early. We're gonna, we may see a repeat of the last game, folks. Casey going for the Hail Mary knee. 48% off that lost interaction. That desperate up smash. And finally, good out shield option as we have our faithful caster coming back. And there we go. Casey's got one on the board. They can still do it. All right. Good grab. No Raptor boost. That bike covering so much aerial ground. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, how's it going? We're seeing that Casey caught in the mix. Oh, now they're out of the mix. Fawn. Unfortunate. It was a similar situation last game that they had. You know, Fawn just obviously kind of taking off their first stock. It was very even first stocks all the time. And then with that second stock, Fawn was going for those like, you know, early percentage combos with Wario. Mm -hmm. And then even with the weak waff killing at about 60 or 70 percent, just Oh, demolished. Yeah, Wario just such a, a powerful like momentum based character. It's like when he's when he gets to be in the driver's seat like that, he's he's taking you for a ride. Yeah, I mean he's got a lot of driving experience, you can see with the bike. That's true. They got their license. Speaking of driving experience, we've got Captain Falcon Let's on go. Fury versus Aster. This definitely looks like a hot set, two extremely fast characters. And it looks like this game one may be coming to a close soon as Fury right now is stuck at the no! ledge. What are we doing? Fury wanted it Hello? so bad. He he knew that he was getting put on the on the big screen. He's like, I want to press the big like, button. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, Aster being like, no, 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 no. No. Come on now, have some class. I mean, look, the class would have been me to Falcon Punch. Yeah. Come on, Fury. Sacred combo on stream. Let's go. And so now we have two Falcons in loser's bracket. We have Fury and Casey. I love seeing the Falcons come out to play. Me too. Falcons are such a fun character. I mean, somebody's got to take fatalities thrown now that he's retired. True. Right. Well, what, what a loss to the community, I will say. Yeah. Fatality was one of like the, the coolest people in Smash. Always lovely to watch him play. And it's just so disheartening to see him being like, you know, I think I'm done with the game. Hopefully, we, hopefully we see them in other games. Hopefully Absolutely. this is not the end of their FGC career. But right now, Fury is looking to reclaim that crown. Already oh. got one knee on the board as well as a stomp. Just approaching with the knee and finding the down smash for the first KO. It's the best move. Just approach with it all the time. Sometimes Falcon can just be fun. You just go in and you just press buttons. 
You've, Falcon's got some big buttons. Just get in there and press him. Exactly. Unfortunately, not many, mo not most of his moves are safe on shields. Sweet spot knee. Oh yeah. Not much else. Yeah, we're starting to see Aster uh, starting to adapt to all of these options from Fury and just weaving his way in and out all around these, getting some fantastic confirms of his own. Already 73% on Fury's second stock. This no. might be it. Falcon is heavy. So Fury is going to be living just a little bit longer, and the boost kick is going to be that much more stale as well. Yes, I, I do think the audience was clapping their hands, believing in Falcon. All right, and back to ledge. Ooh, Ooh okay. Started something big. Me? No, not yet. Oh, it gets the parry on the side B, but that is, in fact, a multi-hit move. He's going to be living a little bit longer. Yes, you do have to parry multiple times. <laughs> Throwing out the up smash? That's a punish. You know what else is punishments? Lose the John Numbers first game. Yeah. <laughs> Playing John Numbers is like a punishment sometimes. Yes. You are sentenced to 5,000 sets against John Numbers, such as the fate of New York. True, true. Uh, I do think the information on Station 21 is wrong. Yeah, I'm assuming that is not Pokey Fan Z versus Lee. No, I believe that's uh, Vivi and Sinnoh. Sinnoh, so, yeah. But you know what? Maybe that's just start.gg being dumb. Not as dumb as Unity, but you know. Ooh, uh, that's no. Uh, that's correct. Sino has to fight Helper. Oh. oh. So did they just I'm random ditto or pretty something? Pretty sure they're random or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, but nothing that's... random about that kill though. As Aster takes a 2-0. Absolutely. Wanna wanna check out Ayoshi? Do I? Or do you want to go 21? We'll see what Pokey fans and Loot are up to here. Yeah, you know what? I'm always down for some random dittos. I'm down to see just some goofy sure. stuff. Besides, we can give them some feedback on uh, their random pick. Yeah. I can't tell who is who. Ooh, the parry. <laughs> That's a really good parry. I right, shielding the snooze. I am not. I I don't know whose tag is whose. No, we're, we're gonna have to guess. Isabel and Hero. Yeah. Isabel and Hero. Isabel and Hero get into the? an argument. Forward air oh canceled out the startup of bounce? Let's go. I've never seen that. Uh, Isabel's shield so small. Ooh. And a really good fish into that. Fishing for that kill, not quite getting it. Avoiding the zapple. And the party popper. Yep, Popping their second stock. They're trying to find their way in, but Isabel setting up this wall right now with, the, with all these projectiles. The hero... It feels like the hero player is just not really playing like the hero game plan. It's more so just a sorty game plan. Oh, nice Hocus Pocus Metal Slash. Yeah. Very cool. I know that they're trying to go for the funny. Oh, again? Oh, All right, really good luck here from though. Hero. I mean, pretty much any... No, you psych yeah. up up throw. Yeah, up throw will kill. That's, that would have He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Back air is absolutely going to be killing, though. No buffs required. All right, Isabel coming to reclaim some of those bells that Hero owes for that house that he never asked for. Oh, all right. Yeah, I mean, Isabel just kind of has to play a lot more safe now that Bounce is online. That just shuts down most of her neutral. Oh, OK. Really good shield there. Isabel looking for that promotion Ooh. to Mayor from assistance. Mayor Painville. Are you that. not able to pocket snooze? Yeah, I don't believe you can pocket snooze. Huh. Unless Sinnoh wants to correct us here in chat. I don't think you can. I don't think it's that kind of projectile. Oh. And this is that kind of hero who can make this comeback. Oh, oh psych no! Up online. All right, come Fishing on. Fishing minigame coming through. Missed. All right, and again, these psych up F throws, just not, not quite what you want, but what oh. Hero does want in this matchup is bounce. Yes. Oh, you no can't way. be dash attacking. Come on. They didn't know. Nobody knows this matchup. All right, All right back no kill. Throw, setting up for a potential edge guard, but instead pulling out the zoom. Good zoom, actually. We have seen almost a single, it. like, gyroid rocket. I don't think oh, they know, but stop. you know what? <laughs> Stop! You violated the law! Your stolen characters are now forfeit. Oh my gosh, don't call him on like that. We, we don't encourage piracy here, but you don't deserve to go to jail for it. Then pay with your blood! <laughs> Can we get some Oblivion music going on? Stop the battle. 
Huh? Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, All right, John Numbers uh, taking that set against LRA starts. Okay. Yeah, they, they have stopped playing around. All Blue right. I, the Wario. I know who these people are. Boogie Van Z and, and Loot. Loot. All right, so it looks like... Uh, so that means Loot won game one. That's right, yes. with that amazing Isabel. We'll make an Isabel main out of them just yet. <laughs> We are getting a request to switch over to Beats and Slade. All right, well, what the chat that. wants, chat gets. Your wish is my command. We've got Slade now up a up a game against Beats. Beats no no slouch in the slightest. This would be a really nice upset for them. Yeah, Slade, not a name I'm familiar with, but he's absolutely been pulling up in this bracket. Slade sounds kind of like one of those villain of the week things from like late. Well, Slade. <laughs> Who's from, killing uh, all the vampires yeah, today? Teen Titans. Slade. Who is Slade? Who is Slade? Slade. <laughs> I'd never watched Teen Titans, so what is Slade? He was like he was like Robin's nemesis. Robin has a nemesis? Yeah. Yeah, it's Slade. He like traumatized that kid. Really? God, Bro what, was what, fighting Slade demons. has another name. Slade has another name. Uh, I forget what it is. Uh, I don't know. I, I will figure it out. Okay. Well, know? we've got our, our lore master on the on the case. Lore master 3000. Meantime, though, uh, Veets versus Slade still looking pretty even, although Veets not able to get too much Death out stroke. of that art. Death Death stroke. That's yeah, okay. That's okay. Thank you, Maddie. Yeah. I know Deathstroke. One of, one of many DC characters with gun. Yeah, DC. You know what? I uh, Deathstroke, I Deadshot. Had I had a professor in uh, my graduate class who uh, was like, you know, I had a friend, a writer, who always like, if he got stuck writing something, to be like, well, what happens if I just pull out a gun here? And appa yeah. apparently that he would do that so often that it became a running joke of like, oh, I have no idea where the plot's going to go. There's going to be a gun. <laughs> Character always pulls out a gun from somewhere. Maybe DC is like that. They run out of ideas and they're like, what if, what if gun? <laughs> their programming injustice. What if this character also had a gun? What if everyone had bad animation? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, MK1. Oh my soon. god. No, M MK1 looks very good. We'll see what uh, everybody has to say about it after a month, but I'm very excited for the future of that. It does look pretty good. So that being said, though, Veets pulling out the guns. Ooh. And Slade finally able to find that stock after Veets getting a little bit of extra credit thanks to that second Arsene. Uh oh. Ooh. Can't be eating that, Yoshi. Oh, really good footstool to get back on, avoiding the Rebel's Guard. All yeah, right. Not wanting play to very deal slowly. with any sort of edge guard situation or ledge trapping, rather. But Veets holding down the fort here on on the ground. He's playing really good anti-air. That right. being said, though, as soon as Slade finds his footing, he's able to find some good anti-air juggles of his own. What if Yoshi but gun? What if Yoshi had a gun? What, what if teenager but gun? I think Yoshi's Island would be a much shorter game. <laughs> I mean, Yoshi kind of has a gun in that game. Those eggs are no joke. Yeah. Ooh, missing the up air, but Slade not finding any sort of punish out of it. Instead, Veets is finding a lot of uh, percent lead here. And the second stock, Arsene, coming out. Uh oh. All right. We can stuff Arsene out with some eggs. Ooh, ooh what a confirm from Slade. And oh. continuing the juggle with the eggs. That is most of the Arsene meter gone. But just in time, just under the wire, Veets is able to find the Arsene dash attack to close out the second stock. Yes, most people don't really take the time to see how much is really left in that meter, but it is always worth waiting that Arsene out. It's, al it's always gone before you know it, especially when you're taking big damage like what Slate put out. All right. Slate trying to get any sort of confirm. Swinging too hard first. Yeah, we've seen Slate uh, before on stream just try and stay out of like other characters' burst ranges mm -hmm. and enact this sort of poke-style game plan. But Joker is extremely good at poking thanks to the, the Eha and the gun. Right. I would say that is one of Tri-State's specialties. They yep. love their burst characters. <laughs> I thought you were going to say guns. <laughs> L listen, listen. I don't know if the Bronx has a local. <laughs> oh, but if it did... 
Uh oh. Oh, just raw F smash. Slade looking to close out this second stock quickly. Actually, no, I apologize. I forgot about Staten Island. <laughs> Damn. But Beats racking up all of this extra credit, looking to close out this game to move us on. Finally, though, just getting a little bit too happy with this pressure, and Slade finally able to find the stock. A chat is telling me that the Bronx actually does have a local, <laughs> so there we go. The most played character there? Yoshi. They're terrors. Uh-oh. Right, that is good damage for Slade, but Big Brother is coming home. He's knocking on that door. Uh oh. Right, just a little bit of a neutral air to set up a potential ledge trapping situation. This is but still very even. The aerial drift from Slade is just incredible, just barely outside of these back air ranges. Ooh. Ooh. All right, managing to get back. Nice. Our son is gone. No fear. All right, Slade's got to believe in themselves. Get off this platform. <laughs> Very scary shield pressure, but without Arsene, Slate gets to breathe just a little bit easier. All right, but maybe not for long here as they're back off stage. What? Yep, just another egg trying to find some space for himself at the ledge, but the down air, even from center stage, Beats is going to be taking us to game three. Yes. We're going to take a little switch to 21 as that's about to... From one joker to the next. Yep. Speaking of game three, Pokefan Z looking like he's putting on a clinic, having taken both game two and up three stocks to one here on game three. 181. It's not often you see Joker live to 181. Yeah, he's not a, a heavy uh, character. That's, a, that's just a boy. He ate a big breakfast. Apparently. So That's why school kids need to balance breakfast. Support free lunch programs. Now, Loot does have full WAP online, but obviously not going to be wanting to waste it on that first stock. And we are just about two confirms away from Loot bringing us to even stocks, but Pokefans kind of knows that. He's just sitting back, uh -oh. waiting with the guns, with the EHAs. Like, yeah, I know you, everyone knows you want uptilt, everyone knows you want neutral air. But what about forward air? Oh, well, yeah, that one too. What, what about back air? Maybe, maybe. In, well, what about up smash? I mean, those are good, but those aren't like waft confirms. Oh, oh no! Just barely poked him with the gun. Ah, and he didn't have the bike yet. It hadn't been able to recharge. Yep. You know what? They really, really should should have used the waft to recover. That's true. I think uh, Luke just kind of panicked, wanted to conserve it, wanted to use it to get back in the game, but unfortunately he is going to be out of this tournament. That's all right. We'll see him next week, just like we'll see the rest of you folks in chat here next week. And if you're like, really me? Yes, me? you. You should come down to the local. We miss seeing your face. All right, Slade taking a moment to recover, figure out what they want to do for their options. Yep, Veets now with a fairly healthy lead, even without Arsene online. He's going to get to get all this chip damage once again. All right. If Slade lets him, though, he is staying just a little bit closer than we, have, than we saw in previous games. Slade definitely playing the mentality of, if they can't hit, hit me, they can't win. But they are down one stock, so they got to start hitting yeah. back. Eventually, you are going to have to be hitting them. Oh, I'm starting bit. to see in the gamer camera that we got some flannel out there. You know it's fall Let's when go. the flannel comes out. It is still 80 degrees out. <laughs> it's fall. I know. It's crazy. I want it to be fall. The fall of fall, I'm telling you. Global warming, man. I can't believe fall is canceled. Fall is canceled. Well, after the allegations that uh, it was going to be 83 degrees, it could just never recover. Yeah. All right, our Sen online once again for Beats. Let's see if he can make something happen here. But another confirm from Slade. That's half the Arsene meter oh. already gone. That was a funny little animation. Yoshi ate Joker while the Arsene was coming out. So you kind of <laughs> see Arsene like floating outside of his head. Yoshi with our son now, that would be a terrifying character. <laughs> Very terrifying. SS plus Ooh. tier. Oh, Ooh. gets the drag down confirmed, but unfortunately not able to convert it into a stock. Slade still trying to find the second stock. All right. 
some off stage, but not out of this game. Some unsafe back air pressure there from Slade. He's Ooh. trying to find just this one hit. So many of Yoshi's options will kill. I mean, oh, okay. I just get that damage. Up air here, but no Veets mashing his way out, and Slade not finding a follow up. And a good shield poke. Oh, no. See, and once again, Veets is getting all of this chip damage thanks to the specials. All and right. Arsene is getting pretty close, even with. Without like a rebel's guard or anything. Two our sends in one stop. We're not gonna see it. Not yet. No way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now Vitz is gonna be mashing out of that, and he's gonna have to find uh, Slade's next stock, so he's able to use the Arsen on uh, on stock three. Whoa. That's gonna cute little footstool combo, but I'm loving it. Ah, it's just it's just a a little bit more rage on the Yoshi. But finally, though, with a back air. Far out in at the ledge, right. he's bringing us to even stocks. Slade has to keep their cool if they want to get this upset. Beats not really expecting this Yoshi coming out so strong. That big damage, this is huge for Slade. He's going to be able to run out all of this Arsene timer and make sure that Vitz has to work hard, not just to find the kill, but even just to find the damage on this third stock. All right, all those years of playing Yoshi's Island has paid off. Every single egg hitting their mark. Trying there to two-frame. There Arsene remembering he forgot something at the grocery, and he is out of here. No value out of that third stock Arsene. I know. He's going to have to find, a, like, a good Rebels Guard or something. Uh-oh. Cannot, you know, try and just survive your way through all of this, this Yoshi onslaught. Yeah, but Joker's still great. Oh, going for the risky shields. Oh, no. Unfortunately. That's all right. I'll smash out of shields. And Slade with a fantastic upset against Veets. Yep, taking it 2-1 over Veets. So you see what they're doing, see. folks? They are disconnecting their pro you controllers. You love to see it. That's the clip of the night right there. Please. So I'm pretty sure this is actually game two. Ooh, let's I go think helper. This is helper game up game one. All, All right. right, let's go helper. I'm like pretty sure. I believe. I want to believe. <gasps> oh, no. snatched. Okay. Oh my god, at 182, you, Bowser is dangerous at every percent. Yeah, forward throw definitely not going to be taking it for Helper. And now this is a Bowser with full rage. Doesn't matter though, just that little bit of confirm into the up air Helper bringing us right back into the stocks. All right, so Kurt Switch engage. I don't know Kurt Switch. Do you know Kurt Switch? Uh, I know Kurt Switch from this bracket. He's definitely been playing super well from what we've seen on stream so far. Exactly. Look at this man. If he's not from this area, then... Oh, man. Uh, how can we get you to move to New York? <laughs> Kurt's been uh, here for the past few weeks. Ah! Oh. Uh, I have not seen him on stream. I apologize. I think he moved here? He moved here? Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Make Tri-State even stronger. Uh-oh. That being said, though, you, you've got Helper the Welkin Wagon Ooh. catching <laughs> the up B. Welcome to New York, buddy. Get countered. Oh, just a raw run up up tilt. I think that may have even been a shield poke no way. from Helper. That's a no. No, Helper going for another counter. Oh, you got tricked. Helper, did, Helper, did, <laughs> Helper did the mini game. Where am I going to go? You'll never know. OK, so Kurt is from New York, but ah. went to school in Chicago. So oh, OK. Is... So welcome back. Welcome back. Counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Very risky up smash out of shield. Yeah, Ooh. really looking to catch Helper jumping around in his airspace. Oh, no. Not quite yeah. mashing just enough. And there's going to be Helper taking things 2-0. Helper trying to go save him. Wait, didn't I don't get know. to him in time. May have been trying for like a footstool or something. I mean, you would have died faster. That's still helping get to the next game. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go to 21 now because we have some votes for that. Yeah. All right, Pokefans versus VLZ. VLZ the, the lesser known brother of VLC doesn't play any videos, just music. He does play video games though. Oh! He is gaming right now against Pokefan Z with this Luigi. I, we've seen him on stream a little bit uh, earlier on in the night. VLZ actually has some pretty creative Luigi combos. We're seeing a lot of like uh, grounded extensions. So I'm excited to see that a little bit more 
in this set. But of course, big damage on Joker means you give him our Sen if you're not able to take that stock. Yep, VLC trying to get any sort of confirm into these Luigi oh, combos. No. no, 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 it's okay. Makes it back. That was almost... That's sure you can still pretty far. That was almost uh, another stock for VLZ. I know, so terrifying. VLC closes it out with a back air. But finally getting back on the board. Trying to find these, you know, these grab confirms, but Joker just so good at this long range outside of the plunger range. And VLZ is ha really having some trouble finding these meaningful hits. Okay, at 69 though, 73. I mean, it's going to be tough for VLZ, but ooh, oh, big punish. Yeah, I think Not no it. jump. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, did save the jump, actually. VLZ making it back. So smart. What are we going to see here? Oh, no. Our set is back. Out of the down throw. Goodbye. Uh, if they did... Was that a misfire? No. No, not, not a even a misfire. Ah, uh, this is a really charged green missile. Yep. Oh, Trying okay. To the situation. Does... Oh, you can't do that. Not when you're down one stock. VLZ going for some fancy stuff, but unfortunately messing up the execution and finding some arson damage for his troubles. Yeah, you don't plan this fire. You you measure that in your heart. Just like garlic on any sort of dish. Well, you don't maybe you don't plan for misfire, but you plan like every side B is a misfire. That's right. And eventually you'll be right. Eventually. And you'll be like, yeah, I knew that was gonna be a misfire. Luigi mains. Gamblers at heart, really. I mean, that's true. Luigi does run the casino. Oh, all those, yeah. All those mini games. That's who I can sue for my gambling addiction. <laughs> A little 12 year old me did not know what was going on, but I'm like, hey, these cards, the numbers go up. You're telling me I can get how many coins? <laughs> Sign me up. I did lose all my coin once, it wasn't good. <laughs> What happened? Does Toad break your kneecaps? Uh, no, I, th I think you get... Ooh! I think you get, like, 100 more coins. They, like, refill you. Oh, it's okay. a fun casino, not a real casino. Oh, no. Oh! Okay. fans not having any fun gambling his life away there with the up B, and that is going to be uh, Pokefans moving on. Look, the house always wins. <laughs> All right, speaking of house, we've got House 3000's Helper coming in on Losers Round 3 up against Carflow. Oh my god, the house may lose. <laughs> house is currently down one stock, but does have Carflow here at the ledge. Can't be holding on to that for too long. That burst range with the dash attack, so scary. Uh-oh. All right. Ooh, all right, does. Excellent. Yep, it's an easy... Easy nair loops, finding the up air, no extra credit on the board for Carflow. I don't know if they chose Rainbow Cruise, but it's a good music choice for this matchup. It's it definitely feels like a very good like music choice, like for Carflow specifically. Like just that kind of frantic, uh, like jaunty start of it. it yeah. It's very it feels very reminiscent of Carflow's like hold down the gas button uh, gameplay. That's right. They definitely move like a car. Easing into first, going to second, skipping third, straight into fourth, and yeah. then going back to first. Car Carflow is a very zero to 60 type of player, and I do mean that in both damage and miles per hour. And you two can have that sort of mentality for $60,000. Oh, Carflow getting caught dropping through the platform with the up B. Now Helper is up a stock. Absolutely. What did I say about the house? Does in fact Helper always apparently uh, won their last set on yeah. Sunday at uh, Brooklyn. Let's really? go. Let's go, Helper. It was 2-0, but there was an SD uh, that Helper stated happened on Carflow's end. Oh, you know what? You still take those. But I mean, it's like, what about the other game? You know? Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Unless you SD six times, I don't want to hear it. That's right. Uh-oh. All right, Helper managing to get out of that bad situation. Trying to juggle car flow. Oh, boy. Wow, no uh, time to recover. Pressure. Car flow just trying to find his way back into center stage so he can find that meaningful first hit and getting these platform conversions. 
But the big scoop of the up smash, Helper is going to be taking game one. All right, Helper must be feeling pretty good, and Carful being like, hmm, should I switch to Krom? Nah, I don't think that would be a Krom. terrible idea. No. Helper would be so ready with those counters yeah, off stage. Literally, any time you get sent off stage, down the of course goodbye. It's so good. All right. All right, we're going to town and city. Ooh, Helper left town and city open. Very interesting. Knowing Helper probably got rid of PS2 and Kalos. That makes sense. Doesn't Does like it? PS2 and doesn't like Kalos. I mean, yeah. yeah, but matchups. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, we like Roy on matchups. town and city. Yeah. This is this is Roy's town and Roy's city. He's the man. Yeah, but this is Helper's house. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, the, one, the one little one in the, in the corner. Then we're going to go to the city and then... Yeah, he's still paying off the governor. mortgage. Still paying off the mortgage. You know what? That mortgage is never getting paid off. Just like my student loans. Oh, jeez. Don't forget that they restart in October, folks. Uh, Talk to your loan me. provider. Rather fight Roy on town and city than think about student loans. If I fight Roy on town and city... Mono a mono, and I three stock them. Can I get my loans forgiven? I mean, I I guess, but I, that is that is definitely a feat as Carflow is showing why town and city pretty dang good for Roy. Very. I mean, look at these extensions. Uh oh, all right. Mm -hmm. He's going to the right. Yep. Ooh, that was almost a spike there from Carflow. Oh my God, the far out snipe with the upbeat. And another Jeez. back air, town and city moments. All right, you know, I think you may start be starting to have a point here with this matchup. <laughs> this, is, matchups. This, this is a known quantity. Roy on town and city is just not desirable. Oh, you're dead. Goodbye. Whoa. Beautiful game. What a three stock here from Carflow. All right, so... Uh, that is not what, Town and City. That is what that is what we in the business call a teachable moment. And Helper will now never take Roy to Town and City again. Don't give Helper that much credit. Damn. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Prove us wrong, Helper. Prove us wrong. Anyway, going to FD. Definitely in Helper's favor here. Yeah, definitely a lot better. We saw uh, Carflow making so much use of the platforms on Town and City, especially like the far outside platforms. And of course, Sora's Sora's combo game, pretty dang good. With, Another like, even without song. Like this time from uh, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. All right, let's see how this uh, this particular counter pick works out for Helper, as he has just a million years to be like, yeah, do I want to up tilt this? Yeah, yes, I think I'm going to up tilt this. I mean, this is definitely working out, but oh, Thundaga just from too close. Going to get punished for it. And the swinging from the ledge. Helper's not going to get caught by those side Bs from Roy. Risking it all with that forward smash. Oh, no. He does still have his jump, so he's going to be fine. Does take the long way around with the Sonic Blades. Great patience from Helper. I definitely got caught by that. I was like, wait, you can hold side B that long? Yes. Yeah. It's I, not safe on shield. I, I learned that today. Oh, no. Who did you lose to? Uh, Carflow. Oh, no. <laughs> Carflow and then loot. Uh-oh. All right. But in the meantime, though, Carflow up a stock, looking to get just a little bit more extra credit. Ooh. Helper tries to slow things down here with all these spells at the no ledge, way. but the super armor coming through for Carflow as he almost finds the second stock. Ooh. Carflow just so patient here. Hasn't lost a stock? Man. Yeah, and he is looking to lap Helper in stocks pretty soon, unless Helper finds that confirm. Oh, he did. We just saw it. He, that's true. Still looking pretty low for Carf er, for Helper right now. Another oh. chair. It's going to be Carflow taking Helper potentially to his tournament stock. All right, Helper being like, no, I don't want to go home. He can go home. That's right. He lives here. This is his house. His house, but Carflow is taking it over right now. 
Helper trying to put some damage on the board. Does ha now have Carflow off stage, but Carflow wisely holding his jump to make his way back into center stage. And just look at all the damage that happens as soon as Carflow finds that one hit. Right, 58% already. Well, I cannot believe so, uh, that hits that far out. It does. Excellent. All right, so um, that Helper is knows what to do. The you most counter off stage. 599 counter I've ever seen. Honestly, it is, I would argue, it's the best counter in the game. Carflow it stops was, everybody's momentum. Carflow was in a different stage, and he still got hit by that counter. Okay. A really good mix-up here from Carflow, but it's not going to be good enough to stop this. Okay. As long as Helper doesn't get another jab into a back air, should be in a really good position to close this out. Yeah, Helper starting to bring things back as Carflow starting to swing Ooh. for these kills. Getting a little bit too antsy, perhaps. All right, I mean, it's just so close. Oh, oh it's no. going to be a regrab situation as Carflow tries to swing for the fences with the blazer, but not finding it. Helper gets to plant his feet. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. We're still making it back to center stage. Choosing to go for the back throw, knowing that Helper oh very comfortable off stage as he does, in fact, ah! get the tech but not snapping to ledge with the Sonic Blade means Carflow is ready with the reactions. He finds the slide in f -tilt. That was way too close. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, my heart stopped when he yeah. hit the stage, and I'm like, he's back, he's in it, but you're right, the Sonic Blade didn't snap, and ah, oh, Carflow just took that opportunity to finally close it out. Helper just needed to get Carflow off stage one mm -hmm. more time. Yeah. He was ready for that counter, but yeah, that's all right. It is what it is some it's days. It's so hard to put the stop on Carflow's momentum. Yeah. Now he just goes beep beep and you're crushed. The un the unstoppable force. The one stoppable Carflow. Speaking of one stoppable, we got uh, Dill versus Raptor over here, unless uh, Chai wants to go somewhere else. Ooh, actually, I do want to see that as we are in game three here with Dill with a bit of a slight lead. Raptor's second stock is bleeding pretty badly. Yeah, this Rob definitely wanting some more gas, trying to turn this Yoshi into gasoline. It's the neutral air sending Raptor back to the left side of the stage, just fighting through the eggs and Raptor now without a double jump and without any sort of momentum from the up B. At least That's he caught the gyro. That was cool. Yeah, well, yeah. It is still back in Dill's hands, though. Dang. All right, really good dash in. Yeah, uh, Raptor. We're going to make a quick never mind. Oh, never mind. Just, just a quick never mind. That's okay. I see your station 21, and we may go back once we actually get a game there. Eventually. Your points are not in vain. All right, that being said, though, Raptor now with the ledge trapping scenario gets a ton of damage off of that down air. Whoa. Still not quite able to convert it into a stock just yet. Oh no, rolls back into the gyro. You always have to keep in mind where that gyro is. It will always come and get you. Oh. I mean, I like the sound effect of hitting the gyro, but uh, it's still there. I think it's like the strongest projectile in the game, I swear. It really is. That thing is made of like Nintendium. It can survive Ooh. the Gulf War. All right, finally, though, the Tim's out of shield. The neutral air Dill is now on her last stock, but 77%. Raptor's got quite a bit of a hill to climb. Gyro is on the other side of the stage, though, so it is out of Dill's hands. Just for a little bit, though. Would Mount Dill be higher or lower than Mount Everest? Because I think it's definitely the size of two Everests. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, Egg Lay gets some good damage, and Raptor has brought this right back to even. All right, all they have to do is play very patiently. Yoshi does have a great projectile game, but ooh, Raptor <gasps> finally gets the Gyro. What do we see here? Good shield pressure, but nothing. All right, opting to just try and shield the gyro away. Raptor doesn't really want to try and pick it up or anything. Oh. Dill, Dill kind of taking note of that and just setting the gyro up. Like, all right, you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to commit to something to get rid of this constant stage hazard. The stage hazard isn't here though. Ooh, but the down throw into up air. Dill is gonna be taking that. Game three and moving on into winner semis. Excellent work there from Dill. Oh, 
All right, LRA start having an excellent game start against Poke fans. Yep. That being said, though, Poke fans is up a is up a game, so definitely not out of this, and def not even out of this. You know, game two as LRA's uh, second stock is bleeding pretty bad. I think we may be seeing that second stock before our Sen gets home. Poke fans is going to be getting to use that our Sen on this second or on this last stock rather. Oh yeah, they both are last stock. Oh no, very risky shield pressure there from the Larry start. I like right. the reset attempt with the gun. Unfortunately, not quite working out. So, uh, having never played Persona Five, uh, Phantom Thieves—they steal people's hearts, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This um. Definitely not a smart tag choice here from LRA Starbun. True! I didn't even notice that. All right, our Sen is out now. So, oh, but a missed tech from LRA. That could have been huge for Poke fans if he reacted to that high wolf flash. Uh-oh, what do we see here? Back to ledge. Instead, uh... LRA gets to uh, no! live a little bit longer. Still living off that down smash, but that far out, Wolf does not have very many options. And Pokefans taking things 2-0 over LRA. Phantom Thieves with another heart in their pockets. And we have another win in Absolutely. the book for Pokefans. That was canonical right there. Right? Cannon fight. I'm sorry, LRA start. You know now what now know what to choose. I know your determination was strong, but not strong enough here for this set. Right. But anyway, we got King and Maniac? No, we're, we're now at Winter Semis, so we're going to be switching to regular streams. going to be Fawn versus uh, John Numbers. And don't worry, guys, Aster, Raptor, King Maniac still will be recorded off stream. And we'll, we'll check out between sets and all that. All right. Going on Could there. we see the player 